After the governor announced his plan, I talked with the superintendents of the Boardman, Poland, and Camel schools. All of them have been working on plans to reopen and we're glad to have some guidance. Boardman Superintendent Tim Saxton, Poland's Dave Janife, and Camel's Matt Bowen all listened to the governor's briefing. We're really excited to hear the governor announce today that they are considering, with the CARES Act dollars, um, another allocation to the districts. I was excited about the opportunity that, that we have about having our children back in the fall. I heard required and I heard strongly recommended. Among the required were that all staff and teachers must wear masks or guards. Among the strongly recommended, students grades three and above should wear masks too. A lot of parents feel strongly one way or the other. And uh, I know that, that, that's a tough one. And certainly I think we'll have to work with our re-entry committee to see what they think. If that is the directive of the state and that's the recommendation of the state, then who are we to argue? All three superintendents are also working on the same basic plan to allow for in-classroom traditional learning. For parents hesitant to send their children, remote learning will be an option. And they must also be prepared for schools to be shut down again. Most of our parents in the survey said they want their kids back. You heard the American Pediatrics say kids should be in school. I, we agree with that. We want kids back. They also agree every effort must be made to keep people safe. Today, all the furniture on Boardman High School's first floor was in the hallway, a thorough cleaning taking place. Poland superintendent had thermometers in his office and has ordered 10 thermal thermometers at $2,100 apiece, like some of the hospitals are already using. Camel plans for only four days in the classroom, with Wednesday reserved for deep cleaning. You know, you always talk about how you want to be part of history. I, I think uh, education is about to be transformed and for the good. All three superintendents said they plan to have their plans finalized and into the hands of the students and the parents within two weeks.